The nominees for Outstanding Feature Story in a Newscast are... On the Road with Steve Hartman, a Facebook message that sparked hope. CBS News. Borrowed Time, CBS Sunday Morning. Exodus, A Mother's Journey, Nightline, ABC. Flossie Lewis, still spectacular at 94. PBS NewsHour, Zero Tolerance, Vice News Tonight, HBO. And the Emmy goes to Zero Tolerance. <laughs> Vice News Tonight, Home Box Office. Accepting the Emmy, Antonia Hilton. Correspondent. What happened when they took you to the shelter? Because I'm a little bit. Por quién? Because I was in my company. Un chico, un empleado. No, es, es un niño, pero es chiquitito. Were the people who worked there nice to you? Sí. Sí? Sí, pero hay unos que no. My heart is in my throat, um, mostly because I'm overwhelmed looking out at a sea of people that I grew up watching and admiring. Um, so thank you very much uh, to everybody in this room. Thank you to HBO. Thank you to the amazing family advice from Nancy, Jesse, Josh, Madeline, Rita, everyone down, everyone up here with me. Um, I can't forget that this is, again, as someone said earlier tonight, a team sport. So there are amazing people on our graphics team. Made this story happen. Um, AEs, <laughs> tons of folks who like didn't sleep for basically three months to make this story come to life. Thank you to Ludi Garcia for letting us into your family's life at an unbelievably challenging time. And the last thing that I'll say is that um, while we did this story about a year ago, this story isn't over. This family, uh, we stay in touch with them all the time. They are still grappling with the fallout from zero tolerance. Their family's still trying to put the pieces and their relationships back together after spending almost 60 days apart, confused and terrified. Um, their seven, now eight-year-old son is uh, still trying to rebuild his relationship with his parents. And the ACLU and other organizations are still fighting ongoing separations in court. Uh, so our team is going to continue working on this story, and we're really grateful for this honor tonight. Thank you.